I'm Bonnie Seaton. I work on the James Webb Space Telescope, and I'm the Deputy Ground Segment and Operations Manager here at NASA. Working at NASA is bigger, I think, than any dream I could have had, and that's why it's something I didn't originally aspire to. So it just is a wonderful place to work, and it was more than I would have ever thought. And I had been here like five years, and I got a phone call. And it was a gentleman, he was calling from somewhere in the mid Midwest. And I don't know who he meant to get, but he got me. <laughs> so, uh, and I was always answering the phone, uh, there's Bonnie Seaton at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. The NASA? I was like, yeah. He was like, the NASA where there's astronauts? And I was like, well, we don't have astronauts here, but yes, this is that NASA. And he's like, wow, you guys are amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to somebody from NASA. And it's just that sense of joy and amazement is something that I had when I first started working here. And I'll tell you the truth, it never leaves. You just always have events that happen throughout your career that, that just instantly bring back that feeling. When I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of career models for women. There weren't a lot of diversity of jobs that either men or women were doing at that time and, and in that place in the city. So it was very much a factory blue-collar uh, type of environment. So what I saw for women were like teachers, nurses, homemakers, you know, that kind of that kind of thing. So I had decided pretty early I wanted to be a nurse. Started college, State University of New York at Buffalo. I went through three years of classes there. I wanted to be a nurse. Finished up my, my junior year. I don't want to be a nurse. <laughs> so it, I realized it wasn't for me. It takes a different emotional makeup than what I have, so my patients were crying and I was crying. I thought, well, this is not how you can spend your, your life and spend your career. So I finally went back to school, got talked into taking my first computer science class. Computer science became my major. So I completed my bachelor's degree and then um, started working in industry for a few months, then came here to NASA. When I first started here, like probably the first nine or 10 years of my career, uh, I was working for a gentleman named Bill Kelly. Not long after I finished my professional intern too, um, Bill was giving me different assignments and then he'd say, well, we need to have a meeting, you know, put a team together and have a meeting about whatever this particular technical subject was. He'd run the meeting and then after a couple of weeks, he'd ask me to fill in and take care of the meeting because he had something else he had to do and then that would happen like more and more and then all of a sudden I'm running the meeting. And he would do the same thing with like task monitoring assignments or other little jobs. He asked me like, well, you write the first draft and then I'll, I'll take it from there. And what you didn't realize, or what I didn't realize at the time is, that's how he was training me and, and teaching me how to do these things. And then all of a sudden, I turned around and I was actually the task monitor for the whole effort. And I look around and it's like, well, when did this happen? And it was just a very gradual, very subtle way he had of training that you didn't really realize you were taking on more and more stuff. And all of a sudden, that was it. And you were managing the effort. My parents have been the biggest influence on my life. And I think um, my mom uh, was, a, was a great influence. And she instilled in me a belief that I was gonna go to college. And you know, we didn't, we didn't have money for school, we didn't have money for college. You know, we were in an environment where a lot of people didn't go to college. But I never doubted that I would. And I never doubted that I would have a career. I wanted more than just a, a, an everyday kind of job. I wanted, I wanted a career that would take me places and give me opportunities and, and somehow my mother gave me that without a lot of direct conversation about it just by believing in me and, and she was so sure that's where my future would, would take me that I believed it too. There, there's actually a couple of things that I would like to recommend for college age women. I strongly believe in STEM careers, you know, science, technology, engineering and math and I think they can give you a great future. But I also think there's such a wide diversity of uh, career fields under the umbrella of STEM that I would really recommend you try a variety of topics, take different classes, maybe even um, convince yourself to take something that at first blush might not be something that you're really thinking of. The other thing that I would recommend is, is paying a lot of attention to your communication skills because no matter what career you're going to take, you have to be able to communicate your ideas both in writing or, or talking orally 
communicating your skills. And I think those are the probably the two biggest uh, pieces of advice that, that I would give.